you guys, how's it going? Was ist los? Wie geht's? All that good stuff. Um, basically, I'm very excited and a little bit nervous because today I am going to be attempting to make German pretzels at home. I have honestly no idea what inspired me to decide to do this. I just thought it would be kind of a fun thing to try. I'm honestly not really sure why because Pretzels are so cheap to buy, like there's no reason to make them at home. And for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, in Germany, the classic soft pretzel is really, really, really popular, like super popular. You can buy it basically everywhere and people eat them all the time and they're super cheap and really convenient. So there's no reason to home make these basically, but I'm going to do it anyway, or at least I'm going to attempt to do it. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. For all I know, they will be really disgusting. And on top of that, I am also going to be drinking beer while I do this. I don't really know why I'm doing this to myself, but I felt like it would make for an entertaining experience and hopefully an entertaining video. So basically, if you would like to see me drink German beer and make German pretzels myself and possibly make a total fool out of myself, keep watching. So this beer is one that my husband has been drinking and says is very good. It says, this is going to be very embarrassing to try to, for me to try to read this, but it says Alpfel Breuhaus Pilsner. So it's a Pilz beer, that I know. Okay then. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear my cat yelling in the background. I can't really make him stop. So if he's meowing behind me talking, well, there he is and now you know why. This is not about you. We're not making bread for you. We're making it for me. Okay, so let's do this. So first of all, all right then, cheers, prost. All right, so the first step it says is I'm going to mix the sugar and the yeast together and then I'm gonna add water and let it sit for like 10 minutes. It's supposed to get all foamy, like, ooh. I know that word in German, schaumig. I think it's schaumig, is foamy, yeah. I really, really hope this works. I have no idea if it's actually going to. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes now. I'm gonna set an alarm. It says that the mixture should be foamy, but it is not foamy. And it says if it's not foamy that there's something wrong with the yeast, but I just bought the yeast, so I don't know how there could be something wrong with it. Therefore, I'm wondering if I did something else wrong already, but I've only done one step of the recipe, so that would be super unfortunate. Calls for a drink. All right, so it has been about 10 minutes now. This is like not foamy at all. I'm, I really feel like, I think it's really supposed to be foamy, like really shaumig, but it's really not foamy. Like it's just like a normal liquid, although it is very foggy. Like it doesn't look clear at all. It looks like, you know, not clear. I don't know how better to explain that. So I think I'm just gonna go with it and hope that it will just be okay because I'm not really sure what I can do to change it. If you guys are watching this and you're in your head like, oh my God, like I know what you're doing wrong. Like comment below and let me know what mistake I've already made because clearly I've already made a mistake and I have absolutely no idea what it is. So maybe if I do this again, I can do it better. So moving on to the next step, I'm going to be adding flour and butter. First, a drink. Okay, so the next step is now to like knead the dough, which I'm excited about because I get to use my hands. Woo. It's very sticky, like I think it's stickier than it's supposed to be. I'm wondering if I didn't add enough flour because this does not look okay. I'm thinking I need to add more flour. Ah, oh my God. Okay, so I added a little bit more flour to try to help myself out here a little bit, but I'm, I don't have a lot of faith. I'm not really sure about what's going on. I don't know how to knead stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. I've just done so many things wrong already by this point. I, I don't have a lot of faith that this is going to work, but that's okay because we're just having fun. You know, it doesn't matter if it's disgusting when I finish, it's just enjoying the process. Okay, so now that I have added more flour, it's actually like really a dough that I can knead. It works pretty well now. I think I just really didn't have enough flour in it. 
I'm not sure why, if it was the recipe or if it was me, it was probably me, let's be honest. But yeah, so now it's okay. Okay, so the next step, what I need to do is take a clean bowl and like rub some butter along the bowl edges area. I don't know what exactly I'm talking about, but I'm gonna put butter in a bowl and then I'm going to put the dough in the bowl and then I'm going to cover it and leave it for one hour to let it rise. Hopefully it will rise because the whole problem I had in the beginning was that the yeast didn't become foamy, which means maybe there's something wrong with the yeast, but hopefully not. All right, you guys, so I just took the dough and I put it into the bowl with the butter in it and I covered it with a towel and I just set it aside so that it will rise. Hopefully, we will see about that. And yeah, now I'm going to take a break because it needs one hour and I will be back in one hour to let you guys know what happened and see if we can possibly bake some pretzels. So we'll see what happens. And cheers. Okay, you guys, so it has been about one hour now and I let the dough rise. It didn't rise that much. It's supposed to double in size. I think it did not double in size, but it definitely got a bit bigger. I honestly think that I messed up something with the yeast in the very, very beginning of the recipe. I think maybe the yeast didn't like fully work or whatever in the beginning, which is why it's not rising a lot, but I'm just gonna keep going with it anyway because there's no turning back now. I have also finished most of my beer by now, um, which means that I hopefully can finish this recipe and not make any more mistakes, but we will see. So the first thing I need to do now is I need to separate the dough into four pieces and then I need to form the pretzels. I also just turned on the oven, so that is preheating. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna separate it into four pieces. So now I'm just gonna form all of the dough into pretzels. I'm gonna make four pretzels and then I have to do the baking soda bath, which I'm like pretty nervous about because it involves hot water and I don't know, that's giving me anxiety. Okay, so my beer is officially empty. I took the last sip, I didn't record it, I'm sorry, but beer's empty. I basically made pretzels and now I'm going to do the baking soda bath, which is the next step. Okay, so I have a bowl with very hot water that I just boiled. I have a spatula and I have my baking soda. So I'm gonna add the baking soda now. Let me show you guys what's going on. Okay, baking soda's going in. It's supposed to foam. Good, it foamed. Let's just mix it a little bit. All right, now we're gonna dip the pretzel, so. That is done. My pretzels are here. They look fine. Good enough. Let's just say good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna put my pretzels into the oven and then we're basically done. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those nice, like large salt pieces to sprinkle on top, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the oven. Okay, so my pretzels are in the oven. I'm super excited. I really hope that they work like enough that they can be eaten at least without being disgusting. But I honestly have no idea and hopefully I didn't miss any of the steps or mess anything up really, really badly. But honestly, this was just for fun because I thought it would be entertaining and hopefully the pretzels will also taste good. So I will see you guys in 15 minutes when the pretzels are done baking. So the pretzels are done. It has been 15 minutes, they've been in the oven and I'm about to take them out now. And then I have to wait and let them cool down before I try to eat them, which um, I'm probably not gonna do because I'm impatient and I want to taste it now. So I'm going to eat it while it's hot. Honestly, I have literally no patience. It's hard enough for me to bake something for the amount of time that it needs to bake. The idea that then I have to wait for it to cool down afterwards is just ridiculous. Okay, so, Pretzels! Can you see? There's pretzels! Okay, so here you go. That's what it looks like. 
I feel like it looks pretty good, you know, saying that I, well, you know, it looks fine. Like, it doesn't look gorgeous. It's, it didn't get like super shiny, like it said it was going to from the baking soda bath. I wonder if that's just because I didn't do it correctly or if it's just, this is just how it works. Like, I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to make it shiny. If you know how to make pretzels shiny like that, comment below and let me know. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's really hot. It's super hot, oh my God, it's super hot. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, it looks really good. It's so hot, I'm gonna burn myself for sure. Okay. Mmm. Honestly, it's pretty good. It does not taste like a pretzel that you buy from the bakery here, but it's a pretty good attempt. I would say like, I, I did a pretty good job. It could have been a lot worse, okay? Let's just go with that. It could have been worse. Mmm. It's good though. It tastes like bread. I mean, bread is pretty much always good. Guys, I made pretzels. Okay, you guys. So, I made pretzels. I drank beer. This happened. I have no idea if this video is going to come together and be entertaining or just sort of sad to watch me struggle through trying to make these pretzels. But either way, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys are all doing well. That's all for me in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.